We're in the Roadshow Kitchen on this Monday morning, thanks to our friends at GoProvidence.com. And our chef today, baker Jennifer Luxmore, is here from Sin, who I was just telling. If you don't follow them on Instagram, you need to, because there are days there are cakes being posted, and I just want to jump through the screen <laughs> because they look so delicious. We are making a sweet treat this morning, chocolate truffle. So thanks for coming in. I know oh, you're this is probably a crazy busy week for you with Valentine's a Day. A little bit. And a lot going on, and I know you have a, you got a newer location and a new Valentine's Valentine's menu. We'll talk about that in a little bit. But what do we need to uh, to make these chocolate truffles? I kept it really simple. <laughs> okay. Um, Valentine's, maybe you don't get out to get something. You want to do something for your love. So truffles are really simple. Everyone loves them. Mm. Uh, you can flavor them in a variety of ways. Right. But like anyone can make these at home. Okay. So this is going to be something easy to do. Yep. So what do we need to put it together? Uh, basically, you need heavy cream and chocolate. That's it. That's it. Well, that's easy. That is the like most basic. You can add stuff and like you know throw in some Baileys or throw in some flavoring, but basically chocolate and heavy cream. Right, and obviously we're gonna melt uh, melt that down, melt the chocolate chocolate yep. morsels down, and then you can roll it in any of the ingredients. Yeah, so have. I just brought a few little things: so cocoa sprinkles, coconut nuts, um, confectioner sugar, pretty much anything that you can roll. You right. can we'll flavor work. it with. Yep. And then you also just put them in these little pastry pastry yep. holders here. And then you also have some nice, a uh, nice, yep. so actually really cute box to put them into. We'll have these at the bakery right. uh, from Wednesday on if you want some, don't want to make them. We'll right. have truffles and a bunch of other cookies and all kinds of fun stuff if you want to stop by and grab it. But if you don't and you want to make it yourself, It'll literally take maybe a half hour total. That's easy. So if you're one of these uh, last minute folks wondering what to do or what to get that uh, that person in your life, maybe make them something like this and give them, show them how much you love them. We will put this together and also talk about sin as well because it's a busy place. Back to you. We are back in the Roadshow Kitchen. Thanks to GoProvidence.com for bringing back Chef Jennifer from Sin. And this is a little sinful treat on a Monday. Chocolate truffles is what we're making. We're getting ready because it's Valentine's week. Yep. So I did something really simple that anybody could do at home. Mm -hmm. um, Thank you. Basically, <laughs> two basic ingredients. I have here about a cup of chocolate chips. Mm -hmm. You can use any chocolate. We have milk chocolate and white chocolate. The ratios are a little different the lighter the chocolate you go. Mm -hmm. But we're going to start with the dark chocolate, um, a cup of chocolate chips, Okay. half a cup of hot cream. Hot so cream. you're just going to heat your cream up, whether it's on the stove or in the microwave. Mm -hmm. You're going to pour the cream over the chocolate chips. And did you say you said those were dark chocolate chips? Or They're can they be bittersweet? Kind bittersweet, of whatever you have? Pretty much any. All like right. Toll House is fine. Good. Maybe you have some in your pantry right yeah. now. You're going to let that set for just a few seconds. Mm -hmm. Kind of let that heat work on those chips, slightly melt them. You can also add flavoring at this point. If you want to add mm -hmm. like a little shot of Kahlua or a little Baileys. Okay. Um, some a little coconut. peppermint schnapps in yep, there. Exactly. <laughs> coconut extract, mint extract, kind of hazelnut, huh. whatever you're thinking, of, you can go ahead and add it here. Yeah. You're just letting that set. Uh, bowl's pretty warm. And then you're just taking a whisk and the cream has melted the chocolate. That's a great tip to just let it sit for a moment. Yeah. Let you that, might feel like you want to go right away. Let the cream do the work for you. And you're just slowly whisking it until it starts to come together. And it already smells great. Yeah. And then, you can always see. Wow, Oops. you can see that start to form there. Hey, that's all right. Look at how beautiful that is and how easy it came together. So we are well on our way to making our chocolate truffles. Wow, as the color changes in that bowl, it starts to smell like chocolate in our kitchen. We're excited. <laughs> we'll finish up these sweet treats with Jen in just a bit. We are back in the Roadshow Kitchen, thanks to GoProvidence.com. Jennifer Luxmore is here from Sin, and we have chocolate truffles. Jen said anybody can put this together. Mm -hmm. They are going to be easy to do. All right, so we had just put the cream into the chocolate. We mm -hmm. mixed it up, and then you're going to let it chill. So you can either just leave it on the counter for a few hours, mm -hmm. or you can stick it in the uh, refrigerator for about half hour or so, let it firm up. And so you have firm this right here. bowls. So this uh, is the white chocolate. chocolate. Yep. Okay. This is my dark chocolate. This is milk chocolate. Okay. And then we're just scooping. You can do a scoop like Michaela has, Ooh, really or smooth. a spoon, um, fingers, and you're just rolling. Scoop it out. Mm -hmm. 
<coughs> and then you're just kind of forming it into a bowl. All right. Uh, do that. Into a bowl. Right. Um, get a little texture on it, and then just choose your topping. What do we have here? What are some of the options that you've brought along? This is cocoa, mm -hmm. uh, sprinkles. We have almonds, coconut, and peanuts. Well, I'm going to go coconut. Put this in here. Do this. And then if you want to have a tray that you're putting them into with little um, papers. Right, you can just drop them in here. Just drop them like in. Like that. All this right. is a great idea for all the, like, the mini it really is easy. cupcake tins that you have. Yeah, and... You know, you can get a fancy box. You can just leave them on the plate. Mm -hmm. You do not have to refrigerate these. Oh, you don't. But if you're keeping them for more than a couple of days, right, I then. would. Right. Okay. Okay. So you can roll these up. These look great, and what a fun recipe to make with the kids too. Yeah. It's super simple. You can have a lot of different flavor varieties, even with just one recipe. Mm -hmm. With your toppings, you can get a ton of different flavors. You can make them as big or as small as you want. Yeah. And even, even the boxes you have, I know those are from, from your from your location, but you can buy those any place, really. Yeah. Those, those small, small Michaels, boxes Joanne's, like that. Michael's, yeah, yeah, any place Party like Fakers. That. Right, and get them yep. and make them. This so you don't really need anything special. You don't need a special scoop. If you mm -hmm. have one, that's great. You don't need special mixers or bowls. Uh, pretty much most people have a lot of this stuff right, in their pantry the yeah. today. Yeah, this so is I love easy. it. You can start scouring around and yep. see what you got. And in terms of toppings, really whatever you have. Yeah. And if you don't have, you can just go ahead and use cocoa or confectioner sugar. Mm -hmm. Oh, confectioner sugar. I like confectioner sugar, too. That's always a good one. Now, Sin, um, where are you guys located? I know you have a, a not a new location. You've been there for a little while, but it's a really nice place. Yeah, we've been there for about a year and a half. We're over on 1413 Westminster Street mm -hmm. on the west side of Providence. We have a full bakery, so coffee, espresso, muffins, Pop-Tarts, cupcakes, to-go cakes. We have a lot of special items this week for Valentine's Day. There'll be truffles, a lot of heart-shaped, heart-shaped whoopie pies. Mm. Um, and then in the evenings, Thursday through Saturday, uh, we always have plated desserts with cocktails. And this week we'll have a special plated menu for Valentine's Day. We have a strawberry tart. We have our chocolate lust tiramisu. Ooh, we have oh a man. blackberry cheesecake. Yum. And we have a creme brulee. And our bartender has also made specialty cocktails to match with each, each of those. That's Isn't right. that fun? Yeah. So if you want, you can make reservations. But we are open if you just want to walk in, grab mm -hmm. something that you haven't had. Um, and coming up at the end of this month, we have a Pachuca Cha event on Who's the that? 27th. It's kind of like adult show and tell. All right. Okay. It's really fun. People get up. I'm intrigued. Given a topic, and um, people get up and just talk for on that topic for like six minutes. I think you get 20 slides, and each slide is like 15 seconds a slide. It's it's That's a lot cool. of fun. You should check it out. That really it is. sounds That's, awesome. And, and I also know you do a lot of specialty cakes. And and I was saying to you before, I follow you your uh, sin on Instagram, and some of the cakes are really, really incredible. Mm -hmm. oh, thank you. you folks are making too. We also do whiskey tastings and events. So mm -hmm. on March 3rd, we have a whiskey tasting and cocktail event. Can't go wrong with Beautiful. that, right? And you can't go wrong with chocolate. So if you want this recipe, go to our website.